Hi there Thunkers and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to learn how to use the sound blocks in our Thunkable project. Let's get started. As you can see we have blocks to play, pause, resume and stop a sound. We also have a block that will let you know if a given sound is paused. While we do have recording blocks in this drawer we will address those in our next video. You can upload a sound file to your project in the assets drawer in the design tab. You can also play a sound directly from a URL by adding a text block to your app and pasting your sound URL into this text block. Now let's design a screen with play, pause, stop and resume buttons and a label that tells us if our sound is currently paused. So we'll start by creating buttons that say play sound, stop sound, pause sound, resume sound and we'll name them play, stop, pause and resume and we'll add a label which will start by saying sound is not currently paused. In the blocks, let's create two variables with potential text for our labels. We'll have not paused, says sound is not currently paused, and paused, says sound is currently paused. Now we'll use the URL text block we created earlier, and we'll say that when we click play, we'll play the sound from this URL. And of course, when we click pause, we pause the sound. When we click resume, we resume the sound. And when we click stop, we stop the sound. We can also change our label whenever we play and stop our sound. So let's say that when any button is clicked, We'll change the text of the label. If our sound is paused, we will set our label's text to our paused variable. Otherwise, we will set our label's text to our not paused variable. Now our project's ready to test. So when we click play, our sound plays and our label's text does not change. And when we click stop, the sound stops, but the label still doesn't change because the sound isn't paused. If we click play again and then pause our sound, Our sound has paused and our label reflects it. We can click resume to pick back up from where we paused in the sound. And that's everything you need to know about sound playback in Thunkable. You will find a link to this project and our sound docs in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and as ever, thanks for thunking.